and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. And we are streaming again tomorrow. Well, Simon is attempting um, episode eight of The Witness. He's already done about 14 hours in that game. He's made a lot of progress, but who knows how far he has to go. Well, some of you do. I don't. Um, and from 10 p.m. tomorrow, he will be live streaming that. Um, we request no spoilers. Don't tell him how long he has to go. Don't mention it in the comments here. He doesn't want to know. He wants to just play the game. Thank you. Now, um, we also have four days left on the Looney Tunes hunt. So do remember to have a look at that. If you've been putting it off, um, we're getting loads of correct entries in. Still a few incorrect ones as well. Read the uh, way to achieve a sandwich score carefully. And uh, do have a go. Do join Patreon if you haven't already. Do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We are getting closer and closer to 400,000 subscribers and we will do a question and answer video when we get there. Um, now, Simon has asked me to have a go at this puzzle today. Ride of the Rohirrim by 2 to 10. Uh, and that reminds me that I forgot to look up the Rohirrim. I am going to say that I believe it's a race of elephants in J.R.R. Tolkien. Um, and you can feel free to post a comment with the hashtag IgnorantMark if it turns out to be something from Star Wars or some other universe, or just a made up word, which I doubt. Anyway, um, the reason I say elephants is that there is apparently an elephant's move in fairy chess. Now, I don't know enough about fairy chess either, hashtag ignorant mark, to, uh, to say whether it has moves that get made up regularly and uh, new ones, or whether this is a kind of traditional form. But anyway, an elephant move is um, cells separated by an elephant's move. An elephant's move is one or two cells in a diagonal direction. So if we had a six there, we cannot have a six in any of those cells by the elephant's move rule. Obviously, by the normal Sudoku box rule, you couldn't have a six there either. So we have that rule applying. I think we considered the rule in Panthera's three move option puzzle. Um, I might be remembering wrong. Honestly, I might. Anyway, we have that rule. We have a killer Sudoku rule, so cages have to add up to the sums given. Note that there is one cage which is less than 13 as its sum. So, don't know whether that's 12, 11, or 10. Must be one of those, I think. Um, and normal Sudoku rules, of course. So do give it a try. If you fancy it, you may want to judge by the length of the video. I believe 2 to 10 is not known for really easy puzzles, but I'm hoping for something I can do today. Anyway, I'm going to have a go now. It's on the link under the video. Let's get cracking. So... What have we got? We've got a 14 cage that is obviously either 5, 9, or 6, 8. The less than 13 cage has to have a 1 or a, a one and a 2 in it, because it's either 12, which is 1, 2, 3, 6, or 1, 2, 4, 5, or 11, which is 1, 2, 3, 5, or 10, which is 1, 2, 3, 4. But does that form some sort of virtual 1, 2, Pair. I don't see how it does. Fourteen cage can't have a nine in it. Ah, neither can the eleven cage or the nine cage. Uh, so the nine in column three is in one of those two cells. Actually, these are low numbers, aren't they? Eleven, twenty-five. Ah, okay, right. I'm going to colour these boxes, these cages, purple. The total of the purple cells is 34. The total of column 3, do you know what that is? If you know our secret, you do. And because you're one of our favourite people, we've told you before. Um, the rows, columns and boxes in Sudoku always add up to 45, because that's the total of 1 to 9. There is the secret revealed. Now... What I'm saying is that the purples add up to 34, 
the greens add up to 45, which is a difference of 11, and the purples are smaller. Now, if we take out the cells which are both colours and must therefore be the same, then these three cells yeah, have to add up to 11 smaller than those two. And there is only one way of doing that, and that is by putting 1, 2, 3 in the purples and 9, 8 in the greens, and then 17 minus the 6 is the 11 difference that we needed. And that must be the break-in. I don't know how to use it, but it must be. Oh, let's not forget the elephant's move. That is going to be a refrain here. Look at that, a 9-8 pair looking at that cell. So that can't be 9 or 8. And that means this is the bigger number in the 14 cage. I don't think we're still getting necessarily a 1-2-3 triple, because that could be 1 or 2. Where does seven go in this column? Oh, no, I mean, it, okay, it doesn't go in the nine cage. It could go in there if it was seven, one, two, four, and it could go in here if it was seven, three, one. Wherever it goes, we will know the fill for that cage completely. Um, ah, oh, eight or nine. This 19 cage has to have an 8 or 9 in it, because 7, 6, 5 adds up to 18. Now it can't have both. That's going to be a virtual pair, using up the 8 and the 9. These three can't add up to more than 18, so that has to be at least 6. Oh, of course. Right. You know what we just did with green and purple over there? Let's do it with different colours here. We'll call those red, and they add up to 57. And it's column 6 now instead of column 3, which obviously adds up to 45. So the difference this time is 12. And we can deduct the equal cells. Yes, the difference is 12, and it's bigger in the red this time, bigger in the outies than in the blue. Um, but the most they can add up to now is 15. So that's got to be what they do add up to. This is a 1-2 pair. This is a 6 and a 9. So let's get rid of the colours. 6 there, 9 there, and that way those two add up to 15. Gives us a difference of 12 with those. It must all work now. This becomes an 8 because of the 14 cage. I was going to say, we now know there's not a 6 in here, but that's not true. There could be a 6. Oh, it is true, because if there was a 6 here, this would be a 1-2-3 combo, which kills that cell. So there isn't a 6 in this cage now. Um, now... Yeah, 9 has to be down here in the 19 cage with a pair making 10, which is either 3, 7, or 4, 6. So 5's up here with the other of that pair. Oh, look, that 9 elephant move. Let's not forget the elephant's move altogether. 8 there, 9 there, because that 9 sees that cell by the elephant's move. Um, ah, the 1 and 2 both see this cell. Oh, they both see this cell as well, because that one sees it by the elephant's move. Ah, that's magnificent. Right, I love that. So they're not 1, 2, but this cage needs a 1 and 2 in it, we discussed earlier. So they go there, and they look across at this. That becomes a 3. Yes, let's go back to that question about where 7 goes in column 3. It now doesn't go here, because it would have to be a 7124 cage, which couldn't have a 3 in it. So the 7 is up here. It's a 731 cage, now we know. This is now not 234 because of that, so it's 216. And this is 4, 5, and 9. Hang on, that adds up to the wrong number. It's 4, 5, and 
two, that's what I mean. They all see this cell, all of those. So that is seven or nine. Oh, actually, they can't be two, sorry. There's a one, two pair there, so they're not two. So in fact, this is, and that's not three. There's a four, five pair, I've just noticed now. So we have a seven or nine there. No, we don't. We have a seven there because of the elephant's move. Let's not forget the elephant's move. Right. So we get to this position. Now, ah, oh, this 10 cage can't be 9, 1, and it can't be 8, 2, because that 8 sees both cells. I doubt it can be 3, 7. No, I mean, effectively, both that 3 and 7 see that cell. So that couldn't be 3 or 7. So it's a 4, 6. Then we know that this is a 3, 5, 7 set. Then we know that this is a 9, 4, 6 group. And I'm probably missing something on the elephant's move to explain or to just fill in or not. Right. Got one, eight, and two to place up here. That can't be eight, and that can't be one. That must be the same as that, because it's one or two and can't be there. Now we've got three, four, five, and seven to put in here. And fours can't be in those two. Hmm. Now what? One, nine, eight, and six over here. One is in one of those two. Eight's in one of those three. Can't be there because of the elephant move. And nine is a bit restricted. Six is infuriatingly liberal and could go anywhere. Seven has to be in one of those cells. Not like that. One of them. Uh, because of this seven. And that stops both of these being seven. But I don't know how that helps. going on in the middle. Um, oh, one of those is a four. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, one of those is a four, and that's important because it means that that can't be a four because both of them can see it, one by elephant's move, and that can't be a four exactly symmetrically. So once those two can't be a four, that one is. That gives us a 5 over here. Still don't know whether this is a 3 or a 4. Ah, oh, that's nice. One of those is a 5. And by the same mechanism, they see those two cells. So they don't have a 5. So there's definitely a 5 here. Oh, look at this cell. This sees 1, 6, 9 and 2. And it sees a 5 in one of those two cells. And it sees a 4 up here. Oh, I thought we were going to get a bit further. Um, it's 3, 7, or 8. Oh, nearly a triple, isn't it? Um, ooh, I can't see what to do. Right, 9 here sees those cells. Yeah, OK. So that puts a 9 in one of those three. Now, they all see this cell. So that's not a nine, and we're left with nines in those two in box four. Oh, and they, they both see this cell, so that's not a nine. Oh, look, that nine sees this cell. Don't forget the elephant's move, Mark. So that's not a nine, and we got a nine there. Wow, that's weird. Okay, so then nine is in one of these two. In box three, can't be there because of the elephant's move. Um... Ah, oh, look at this. This can't be 9-1 now. It also can't be 3-7, 
because that would form an X-wing with that. It doesn't necessarily give us a uniqueness problem in this sort of puzzle, but it does mean you can't fill those two cells if the if these were three seven. So it's not nine one or three seven. The odd pairs. So it's either two eight or four six. Oh, and this cell sees three five seven and one nine. So that's even as well. Now we've got an even quad quadruple. So that's three five or seven. I doubt, doubt that does anything for us, but it's interesting. I mean, I'm not for a moment suggesting parity matters much in this puzzle. Now, two is in one of those two. That four sees that cell. So four, but then five and six can be anywhere. Ah, no. No, 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 though. Yeah. Look, look this cell sees all of those using the elephant move to get to that one. Whatever is in that cell has to be obviously in box one and it can't be in those three cells. So that is four or six. And now we've got a triple. So two goes here. That's nice. That makes this a one. Uh, the two eight pair, do they see anything? No. But we've got, oh, this can't be a one on the knight, on the elephant move. So we get a one up there. That fixes the 2-1 pair. Um, yes, this 1 has also dealt with this 2-1 here. That fixes 5-2. That places 5. Um, this is lovely. Uh, what else? This 1. Don't know. We get a 1 in one of those two positions. And, oh, ah, no, we do. Look, where does 1 go in row 7? That's the way to ask this question. It doesn't go there or there or there or there because of ones in the columns. It obviously doesn't go there where we've got a nine. It doesn't go here, which sees that cell. And it doesn't go here because there's a one six pair. So it goes here. Uh, and that fixes the six one pair. And we get our last one in the grid. They're all done. Right. Excellent. Excellent stuff. Now. What else have we got? Nothing done about that quad. Ah, five and two, eight. No, that can still be three or four. Two, can't go there. Can't go there by the elephant's move or there. Still haven't fixed that two, eight pair. I thought that might have come out after this stuff. I'm sure I'm missing some elimination. Yeah, well, that can't be nine. Yes, I am. We worked out that nine was in one of two positions there. So nine is done. Let's just highlight the nines. Oh, we still end up with a nine in one of those two, in one of those two, in one of these two, and in all sorts of possible positions down here. Actually, it can't be there. Ah, okay, because of the nines there, there's no nine here. The only other position in column seven that can accommodate a nine is actually here. Six, eight. Those all see this cell? Well, I suppose that takes an eight out of it. And it can't be four, so weirdly it's three or five. Um, but I can't see a way to resolve that. Two, one, eight, nine, six, five. This is a really interesting rule set. It's so, as often, so surprising. Um, right, all of those could be two. And they all see this cell. So now two can't be in any of those positions in this box, given where that two is. So two is in this column, which is incredibly helpful, because that is now a 4-6 gauge. That's a 4-6 pair. Oh, it doesn't matter. I mean, obviously this can't be 4 or 6 now. 
two eight pair there. So that is the same as that. Oh, I don't know where that goes up here. Ah, but whatever that is, is in one of these two positions in box one. Yeah, I mean, the sorry, the simpler thing to see is a four, five, six triple up there, which gives us a three, seven pair, and that is two or eight. That makes a pair here, two, eight, four, six, one, um, three, five, seven. Oh, that, that one, sorry, that can't be a five, can it? Hang on, two, eight, one, four, six, five, nine, no. This can't be a five on the elephant's move, which I am now beginning to remember to look for. Doesn't quite fix anything, does it? Maybe there's another thing we can do. Do they all see? No, they can't all see somewhere um, in this box. Sevens, five, one, two, nine. This does see a lot of positions here, actually. Whatever's in that, oh, it could be a five in there. I was going to say it has to be in one of those two cells. I was wrong. Four, six, nine, nine, one, six. We do need a five in column five. It has to be in one of those two cells. Four, six. It's difficult to get these numbers to reach into the bottom three boxes somehow. I'm probably, yet again, just not quite spotting something that has been created. Right, six sees that cell, so that's not six. Must be a three or a seven. Oh, one in this row. It's just done. Oh, I said I'd done all the ones and I hadn't written this one in. Dumkopf, right. Eight there, six there. That fixes six up here. Oh, just simple, simple spotting. This actually can't be a six, but it now can't be a five as well. Should have seen that too. Oh, this is coming now. This is finishing, I think. So I might I might be getting a bit ahead of myself there, I suppose. Um, two, eight pairs. I can't. Okay, let's go down to the bottom. This is now seven and eight. Actually, that eight decides which way round they go. Then we've got three, four, and five down the bottom of column one. Uh, that's not seeing either the 7 or the 8. Ooh, let me suddenly slow down a bit again. Um, right, that is seeing both 7 and 8. So it's 2 or 3. Oh, that 4 is looking straight at that cell. So this cage actually only adds up to 11. Interesting. I was sure it would be 12 in the end. Well, not sure, obviously. Uh, 5, 1, 2, 9, 3, 7. So there's a 6 in one of those two. But they could also be 4. And all of them could be 7 or 8. Um, Do I know what this is from somewhere? I can't see how. Now, ah, oh, no, I was going to say all of those cells see, but there is nothing that they all see. Now I tell you, we've got four and six. No, then I'm trying to get them to look up into this box and fix a cell for me. I can't see what it is. Corner marks. Um, right, two eight pair. That can't be eight. Two eight five nine one. This can't be three or six. So it's four or seven. 
Now, if it was four, we would get four here and here. I don't know what that does. Uh, four, six, one, three. That can't be three. Two. Oh, come on. There can't be much more to see here. Six, nine, one. Eight is in one of those three cells. That doesn't go anywhere else immediately. Three sevens. Okay, whatever that is can't be there. I don't know what that means. Um, that is two, five, or seven. It can see a nine and eight on the elephant's move. Oh, maybe that four, seven pair. No, they look down there. Ah, oh, yes, that is a four, seven pair looking at that cell together. So that must be a six. That's quite handy. Um, so we get a six in one of those two. Oh, that can't be a six just spotted. So the six is a sort of X wing there. Could I do anything else with that four, seven pair? I can't see it. But those are all four, seven and eight. And that means that's not a seven. Um, I don't think those positions for seven are quite as useful. Ah, oh, come on, I'm missing something here. Four, seven, eight. Um, if it's, I don't know, let's have a look on this row. Oh, that can't be seven. Oh, this can't be seven. Why have I put four and seven in there when I've got seven here? Right, Is, let, let me just check this cell. It sees six, five, six, five, nine, one and a two, eight pair there. It sees a seven here and it sees a three there. Yeah, that is a four, that's what I'm missing. Right, six, nine, four there. Um, surely we are finished. That's a four. Six, nine, one. This puzzle does keep having slightly unpleasant surprises for me, but I really think six, six, this is six. Um, three can't be in any of those cells, so one of those is a three. Five, six, two, three. Oh, have we really not done? Um, those people who tell me to stop all the time and rescan, that is what I'm trying to do all the time. It's just I don't see the things that you see sometimes. That has to be the same as that and that. It's one of those. Oh, and it's not here, but that doesn't prove anything. 416, right, down here again. Two is, is it still available for all of those positions? Yes, nothing's changed on two, obviously. Five. Five is now in one of those two. They don't happen to see the same digit in here, no. Oh, I bet I'm missing something again now. Come on, keep concentrating. Nine, six, four, one. I'm looking in box eight now. That also can't be seven or five, so it's two, three, or eight. Let's pencil mark these. Four, six, nine, one, two. Nothing much on the knight's move, annoyingly. 
And absolutely nothing on the knight's move there. So eight. I've used what two C's. Three is very unhelpful. Is this three five? I mean, they don't look anywhere else in the grid. That's the trouble with that three five pair. Ah, oh, there's still something to see, or maybe even something to something clever to work out. Be a surprise this late on, but two to tenth is very clever. Right, nine nine, just to see. Just put in the nine, you numpty. Nine there, that puts two there. Also, we get a nine here. Um, that two means we get no two here. Do we? No, we still don't know the remaining twos. Okay, but four and two, nine, six. This can't be seven or three. Um, this one is also from five, seven, and eight. Oh, come on, six. What about that nine that we put in? It means fives in those three. Those two being the only places for three means that's not a three, but I don't think that finishes us. Whatever's in there has to be in there. Um, oh, no. If that was seven, that would be seven. So would that. And that, and that. And there, that's possible. Oh, crikey. There's something just staring me in the face here. One, two, four, nine, six. Come on, Rohirrim, yield your secrets. Three, seven, or eight there. So if that was a three, that's a three. Why not? It's all possible. And if that was a three, then that's a three. Um, then there, there, there. Can't tell if anything I've highlighted is the same as in the other version. That all looks possible too. There must be one digit that clearly breaks if we don't get it right. Oh, what have we got down the final column? That is three, five, seven, or eight. So four is definitely in one of those two, and one of those two. I'm sorry, I'm just not seeing it. What is this finish? Is there one more crazy Y wing left? What is it? I am interested in column. Oh, two eight pair means that's not an eight. That is three or seven. And that sees all of these cells. So whatever that is, is in one of those two. So come on. Which one isn't it? If it was a seven. I don't know. Why shouldn't it be a seven? Then that would be a three, and that would be a three, and we know how that goes. That all works fine, as far as I know. Ah, 
Oh, I cannot see this. Come on. Something just simple. I'm sure it is. If that was a seven. That would be seven. Then that would have to be seven and that. Still don't know which one of those two, or of those, or of those, or do I? Maybe it's something down here. Seven is in one of those three. Five. Come on, I'm going to persevere. I'm going to find what this is, but... It is madly frustrating now, I have to say. I hate being stuck like this at the very end, and that's where we are. One more deduction definitely finishes this. Why can I not sell? Look, for goodness sake, that five looking at that cell. I'm so sorry, folks. Anyway, there we go. Perseverance in the end pays off. Two, seven, five, three. Let's not make a mistake now. Eight there. That's a seven, three, five, five, seven, three, seven, three. This can't be a seven anymore by the elephant move. Um, Oh, that seven is fixing the four seven X wing. We have a seven and an eight down here. That is a five. The eight fixes the two and eight. And there we go. The ride of the Rohirrim is finally over. What a brilliant puzzle. I mean, that really is interesting, but it is so hard to get your head around a totally new constraint. Although, how long I've been missing that for, I hate to think. You'll probably have a better idea than I will. Anyway, thank you so much for watching us, as always. Um, sitting here in our little bit of the internet solving Sudoku, you are very welcome. And we hope to see you again soon and at the live stream tomorrow. Bye for now.